Hello and welcome again to today's episode of how to use TDMS. Today we're going to talk about overcurrent protection and to be more precise we're going to talk about earthfall, earthfall directional overcurrent protection 67N. In order to test directional earth fault relay we're going to open of course this application and just let's let us start from of course the beginning first we'll connect to DRTS by pressing connect we have DRTS USB and by pressing OK this not connected will become connected and as we see we are connected right now checking the DRTS I see it says remote control so what are the first steps when testing my directional earth fault protection the first step is clicking define relay settings when you click this you need to know whether the measurement of your relay is coming from three standard VTs and three standard CTs in this case, in that case, you're going to choose three voltages and three currents. If your relay is measuring voltage with an open delta VT and three standard CTs, you will choose this. If, on the other hand, your relay is measuring voltage with three standard CTs and core balanced, uh, I'm sorry, three standard VTs and core balanced CT, you will choose three voltages and three currents. And if you have a situation where uh, V0 and I0 are, are measured using open delta VT and core balanced CT then we will use one voltage one current we have this case in which we have three voltages and three currents and we need to fill first these values in so in my case it really is 20 kilovolt 200 volts face to face and it's 300 to 1 amp Next thing is CT star point side and VT star point side. In my case, they are both towards the line, so not towards uh, the bus bar. Polarizing quantities are usually VRES and IRES. This is equal to V0 and I0. In some rare cases, you might find the negative sequence, three times negative sequence of voltage and current to be used as polarizing quantities. In our case, we choose V0 and I0, or as we call them, V res and I res. Angle reference, is it current versus voltage? What is the reference? In my case, it's current. Positive angle convention, in my case, it's counterclockwise. So angle is positive if it rotates, if the vector rotates in the counterclockwise direction. And residual current, in my case, of course, is I R E S not I R E S divided by three residual voltage also and phase sequence is ABC. If you need to change tolerances, you can do that here. I'm going to leave it as it is. Clicking OK, I have defined many parameters of my relay. Now I need to define parameters of this concrete protective function. I know that in my case I have 0.5 as a definite time characteristic and my tripping time is 0.3 seconds my relay is a, a directional relay it's a forward directional relay MTA is 60 degrees and also plus and minus MTA plus and MTA minus are also 60 degrees so as I do that and as I choose my uh, voltage V0 tripping voltage in order to get in order to get the full sector here I have to say that I will be using voltage which is minimum minimum the one I expect it to be so the threshold voltage or higher so right now what we can see here is a nice sector which starts from 0 degrees and it finishes at 120 alternatively you can say 60 plus or minus 60 then if we want to see the threshold of 0 0.5 amps we will use zoom in and if we zoom in quite a lot 
we will see that here I have tripping, but here I do not. So the blue area means I should have a trip there. You can observe the current. You need to observe it here. You don't see it right now, but as soon as I go down, you will see it. So as soon as the current is below 0 0.5, it's a no trip zone. That's one other thing which I have to test. So in order to start the test, first let us see what are our options. So we can do a click and test, and of course that's the first test we'll do. So in order to execute click and test, I just need to click somewhere in the blue region and expect a trip. So for example here, and we generate and looking at my relay I got a trip let's see that here so this is what I generated this is my nominal time and this is what I got also you see that this is red which means a trip and if I click here for three seconds the RTS should be generating these values and then I should see a timeout I know that it's only three seconds because I set it here we can also test a few more points using a sequence. So let's click here, 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 also here, here, and here. So let's take a look at this seven tests we decided to have. And I'm going to press start to see will the testing be successful. So this is, this is a trip, this is not a trip, then again, I do not expect to see a trip, here also, also no trip, the next generation is a trip, and also the last one. So you can say that you have completely tested the characteristic because here we tested sector, here we tested current, but we're going to do it a little bit better. So right now let's choose automatic test where angle and voltage are fixed and current is being changed in order to see whether if I have voltage and angle which satisfy the conditions for trip, how would the tripping uh, behave if I change the value of current. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say, since I know that 0 0.5 is my, my uh, threshold, I'm going to say, let's start from 0. 49 and with a step of 0 0.02 amps sorry this is a stop we'll stop at 0 0.505 for example with a step of 0 0.002 so that's 2 milliamps if I want to execute this test, I need to press this button, add to the test list. I will see that test here. Let's zoom in. So we'll see, we see here a few points. And also, I see the tests. So I have seven tests to execute. And we'll start that right now. Obviously, for the first one, two, three, four, five tests, we do not expect any trip. Maybe on the very border, we will be seeing the trip, for example, maybe here. And even if we see that trip, do expect to see a very unusual tripping time, usually higher, about, I don't know, 100, 200, 300, 400 milliseconds. So you see, we got a trip here but in 2.3 seconds, which doesn't really mean anything. But right now, we managed to prove 
that the current settings are correct because our last value was as we can see 0 0.505 and we did trip for that also if you feel you're missing a certain parameter here or if you wish to remove some parameters you can always click here and say right click and then modify columns layout so here if we need some other value let's say nodes or test row number or voltages if we would like to see or any other value let's say we'll edit dropout ratio we'll add dropout ratio and mm, oh, that's it okay we will see that we got another column here dropout ratio for example now having tested the current the next thing we're going to do is we're going to test the sector so sector testing is usually a very very important thing and we're going to zoom out a little bit so while testing a sector current and voltage will always be in a condition to trip and just the change of the third parameter which is of course the angle between that current and voltage of course when I say current and voltage I mean I0 and V0 or IRES and VRES and in order to do a good test I have to say I'll generate two amps just to be sure that I'm in the tripping value let's say I'll have angle test value 60 degree right now is not important because the device will decide that so we will again press this button and in the re at 2 amps here and here you're going to see or to be more exact here and here we're going to see two gray dots so adding a test test we can see here oh i'm sorry i chose the wrong test i'll repeat that let's say delete and test settings yes that that was the one so again two amps and of course angle is decided by the program voltage 10 and as we at this we see one point here another point here and a point here and here of course th this point and this point should trip and this and this one should not trip we can take a look also at our expected values so in this test we're verifying sector by the way check marks s tell us that these are executed tests and the absence of check marks mean that they are not executed so if we expand this for first of all we expect a trip here in zero three seconds and then a timeout here and then also timeout here which is this one and 300 milliseconds when we click here so we're going to press start now the application trips this four points we saw that first two are already executed and now we got the other two executed and of course we got good results so if we check the results we have a pass and another pass here and this tripped in 307 milliseconds this was a timeout and then again timeout and 307 milliseconds so these would be some of the most important functions when using a, um, a TDMS application for directional earth fault protection. We can now print this result. This time we will not add any notes to the test. We will leave or we can change the report logo into something else. By the way, if you're ever looking for a logo, just go to C x test logo and you can of course choose the logo 
you are looking for. So in this case, let's choose, for example, Siemens. We click OK and print preview. As the application is generating the preview, we can decide whether we want later to print it out in PDF, Excel or something else. Since I have wrote the values for the header, there is the name of the substation and the line. We see our characteristic right here. And then we have our report on page 2. Here we have again repeated all the characteristics of the relay and the curves. So we see here the click and tests we did and we see that we have passes here. We also have all these passes here. We have one fail but this fail here happened because we were on the very border testing the current and we got a crazy trip in 448 milliseconds. And then here we got a good trip. So these are all passes. Again, we have some fails here, but we were expecting them. And in the end, as you can see, each test is separated. So verification of the sector for fault type L1E has a pass here and a pass here. Pressing this, we're going to print in PDF 67N and as the report is printed, we'll close this, minimize this and open our report to see what it looks like. And the report is the same as the one we've seen before, of course, characteristic and the results. We we'll close this. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next episode of how to use TDMS. Thank you.